Thank you for joining me. Kindly click the subscribe button and be subscribed to my channel as you continue watching. Okay, we are continuing with waves two, number three topic in physics. Now we are observing the properties of waves and I want us to discuss the third property that is after which we call diffraction. Sorry. Diffraction of waves. It can be defined as the spreading out. The spreading, spreading out of waves behind an obstacle. Behind an obstacle. So when waves meet a certain obstacle, they tend to spread behind the obstacle. Okay, these are phenomena. It's also observed in, in paper one that is the fluid flow, whereby we talk of a streamline flow of a fluid, and when it hits an obstacle, if it's water waves, for example, the waves tend to curve behind. So if these are water waves which are flowing steadily, then they find an obstacle. They tend to be able to see they want to curve behind, like they want to spread behind that obstacle as they continue moving. In which case they create what we call eddy currents. They change the flow from streamline to a laminar one. But now in this case, we are calling it diffraction of waves, whereby we are talking of the spreading of waves behind an obstacle. So when waves are spread behind an obstacle, then it is called the behavior or the phenomena diffraction. It is good to note that uh, diffraction is a common phenomenon, more so in, in water waves and sound waves. So in water and sound and sound waves, diffraction Actually, that is why we can have sound being heard even when the speaker is on the other side. So if I place a speaker here and behind these walls there are some listeners, they will still hear me. Reason being that the diffraction in sound waves is very high, such that such that when wave, wave sounds or sound waves are moving and they find a barrier or a wall like this. They can just curve behind the walls. They can just curve, after hitting the wall, they curve behind it. And that's why a listener who is standing here will be hearing a speaker who is speaking from this point. So if a speaker is placed at this point and the sound waves travel and find a barrier here, call it a wall, for example, a speaker who is behind the wall will hear. Okay, a listener who is behind the wall will still hear the sound from this speaker because sound can diffract, and the diffraction is the curving behind an obstacle when waves are passing. For the case of water waves, this is where now we are going to study a very sensitive note that uh, for water waves, it is good to note. For water waves, when the barrier or when the when the aperture or when the opening, we also call it the slit, the opening in a given barrier or the aperture is almost of equal diameter of equal diameter to the wavelength of the waves the waves a 
emerge out as circular waves. As circular waves. So we are trying to mean if we got water waves, if we got water waves, we had a water waves approaching a given aperture then according to the wavelength they have we find a certain barrier which has an aperture of almost an equal opening this is the opening we are calling an aperture or a slit when the waves go through The waves go through, but they were just when they go through this barrier, the water waves will exit as a circular wave. They will exit as circular wave. They will just exit as circular waves. Therefore, they emerge out circular waves or circular waves are produced on the other side therefore yeah, this is what we are calling diffraction fine the waves are coming out as circular and they have come when they are plane waves it is also important to note that when the opening opening is larger Than the wavelength of the waves, the plane waves emerge as plane waves, they remain plane, but with a slight. Therefore, we have if the wavelength of the waves is small, this is wavelength. If the wavelength of the waves is small compared to the aperture, or the aperture is big compared to the wavelength, then the waves just pass through as plane waves, but with a slight curving, slight curving at the ends. So if we have waves of a certain Then you find that now the barrier they are approaching as a slit and the slit the slit is of a big diameter compared to the wavelength then the waves will just emerge as plane waves but with a curve being at the end they will just emerge as plane waves though with a small curve being at the ends though with a small curve, small curve at the end. Therefore, the plane waves will just continue passing. They will just come, they will pass as plane waves, but now with a slight curve at the ends. So that is what we call diffraction. Diffraction. So you will just be given a question, a simple question like, the figure below shows waves as they approach an aperture which is greater than their wavelength. Complete the diagram to show how they get diffracted. It is just a small curving at the end, but the plane is basically, the, the, the wave is basically plane. Just a plane wave like the ones which are instant. In this case, when the aperture is almost of equal size with the wavelengths, with the wavelengths, the planes become circular as they merge out. They become circular. So that is what we call diffraction. Kindly, I encourage students to ask their questions through my phone number, which is uh, 25 
from Kenya. So thank you very much for following. Kindly subscribe to the channel. Thank you.